What's up guys, welcome back. If you can see behind me, we have the S4. And sitting right there is everything that we need to go stage two. So it's from integrated engineering. We've got the dongle there for the software. We've got the supercharger pulley. Um, so we're gonna get into the install. Now I've got to remove the front bumper to put the car into service position and then we can go ahead and look at fitting the pulley, which is in there. And then we've got the dongle there to do the software upgrade, some other bits and pieces in here. And for anyone that hasn't seen, I did the coil over video, which you might've seen. Um, and so what I've done since then is the wheels. So we've put these sort of concave generic wheels on and 19 by nine and a half. So they do fit really nice. And we've also done the exhaust system so we've just gone with it's just a muffler delete um, and we've just gone with tapered sort of pipes so they look the same as stock and yeah there's another angle of the wheels and apart from the car being a little bit dirty that is it if you want to see another video more in depth on what I've actually done to the car and the wheels and blah 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 I'm happy to do that but for today we are going to do stage two. How nice does it look without a bumper? Nah, bumper. Bumper. Okay, so for anyone wondering how to get these into service position, there's a T30 here. T30 here, which is the Torx bit, on both sides, so just coming into the Rio, right underneath the headlight there, right through the middle, in there, there's a bolt, you can see it's sort of hanging there, and needs to fall down, and then on, underneath, this side's much harder, there's, where are they? Oh yeah, right there. There's another two right there. Okay, one thing that I did miss was underneath, which you've got the, oh look at this, once you've got the um, bumper off, on the bottom right here, there's another T, I think it's T35 right there. Okay, so it's sort of in line with here, underneath. All right guys, the supercharger wheel, the original one is now off. Um, and so what I've done here was release a lot of this whole frame. So as you can see, it, it is meant to line up there, so it's come all the way off. And I've just got it uh, off and down, and I pushed the driver's side just because I've got a lot more room here. Uh, I'll remove the headlights as well, they were pretty easy. And just pop this down so that we could use these clamp puller things to get it off. now. I wouldn't recommend using something like these. I would recommend if you go integrated engineering or if you go, it doesn't matter what you, when you go for. They've all got their own supercharger pulley removal tools, which sort of clamp around the supercharger uh, wheel and pull it off, which is 10 times better because I've had to remove the lights and drop that down uh, a little bit further than normal just to remove it. So up to you, it wasn't too bad, but yeah, I pull stuff apart every day. And yeah. So all I've got to do now is get this out and heat it up real hot. Okay, now I don't have a 
little mini toaster oven, but I do have a normal oven. So I've just set that up. Um, that will go for about an hour, uh, just over 200 degrees. So while I'm waiting for that to heat up, what I'm going to do is just clean up all the mess that I've made, get the computer charged and ready, um, and have a look at all this. Just neaten all this up. So pretty much we can come out. Um, I might cool this down with some compressed air. Uh, yeah, I'll cool that down first, then run out as fast as I can with the new wheel, slap it on, put the belt on, go back together. Obviously coat it. 24 hours later. Guys, welcome to another episode of installing stuff that shouldn't take two days to install. We've got the car backed up into the driveway now and we also have some new bits and pieces. I've bought a toaster oven and I bought this air duster stuff. So, um, heating up the pulley in my normal oven inside just didn't get it hot enough. I tried it three times and I it would press on but not all the way. Um, so, yeah, that sucked. So I had to buy this toaster oven to try that. Um, and also that air duster stuff to put it upside down and spray on there to really cool down the um, uh, the supercharger little dick thing. So, oh yeah, and it probably didn't help that it's winter. So, running from in there, out here, it's very cold outside. I'm trying to press it on, maybe it's losing heat. So now we've got, you know, very close proximity. And hopefully, you can press it on and finish this stage two. All right, the car is finished. I wasn't able to film putting the car back together because that's what I did yesterday and it got dark and obviously I couldn't film. And so that toaster oven that I bought for the sole purpose of heating up the pulley did not work. Um, I don't know why, but everything I read online was buy toaster oven, chuck it in there for an hour and then cool down the supercharger, little dick thing and slide it on and off you go. That didn't work, uh, so I did three times in the conventional oven, once in the toaster oven, didn't work, so I just decided to go full crazy ex-girlfriend on it, and got it really hot, and it worked first time, got it straight away, and I only needed to blowtorch it uh, for like a minute, so that's the good news. So for anyone that's going to do this yourself, I'll say this, don't use a conventional oven. Don't use clamp style pulley removers. Maybe use a toaster oven. And um, definitely use a blowtorch. These are the things that work. Um, and then, cause I was, I had it done last night cause I was so excited. I went ahead and just did all the flashing on, with this integrated engineering thing um, and a computer. Very, very easy. Just plug it in. It registers the car. Um, pick the tune that you've purchased. Um, I, so that for us, it's stage two with the crackle. And yeah, took it for a drive last night, not gonna lie. Insane. It makes the stock car feel slow. It's just, it pulls so hard now, especially second gear. It's just crazy, which I'll show you all this stuff as well. Oh yeah, and when you rev it, so before it used to cut out at about 4,000, even if you flat foot it, now it will just keep going. And um, it pops and crackles and does all that crazy stuff too, which is awesome. So... Let's go for a drive and see how fast it is. Alright guys, we're about to pull onto the highway. for a second. I think it was because the um, wheels were spinning. <laughs> but like pretty insane. First gear in the dry just going downhill and the wheels started to spin. Gives you an idea on um, how hard this is pulling now. Oh SQ7. Hello. I 
guys, that is the Audi done with stage two. Um, if you're thinking about doing this, if this is a video you've watched because you're thinking about doing it, definitely do it. I didn't do stage one, I just went straight to stage two. It really transforms any Audi car with this three litre motor, um, turns it into an animal. It's so fast. Uh, it just makes you want more, but you know, this is, I don't know if the videos do it justice. You need, you need to be in the car and feel it. It's insane. It's, it makes the stock, it should have been like this out of the factory, really. Or they could have slapped an IRS badge on it, you know, and this is the car. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.